Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to do a shave video. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. It is Sunday and it is time for a shave. Let's see, what do I want to talk about first? Let's talk about the razor. I'm going to be using the Blackland Vector. This is the all stainless steel polished open comb. And I'm going to be using the Feather Pro Guard blade. And yes, this kind of looks like a Zen Garden rake. I love this razor. Today's shave soap is Trussex by Van Ule, and this was sent to me by Monica. Thank you very much. Now, I had to look up this scent because um, the label, if you just look at it, I would imagine kind of an earthy, woodsy scent, and I honestly wouldn't have picked this one up. But once it's lathered up and uh, everything, it is actually a very nice scent. It's almost like, how do you know if you like something until you try it? Like the Big Mac, I probably would have never liked it, but I tried it and I liked it. <laughs> All right, it is whipped up in the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl and I have my beautiful Trotter's Handcraft brush. I kind of going with the green theme today, but um, yeah, I don't know. So. Where's my mind? Okay, now, one thing I will say is I've used a couple of these soaps and um, this one really didn't have a whole lot in it. It was just enough for me to make one lather. And I would like to have a little bit more than like a quarter of a teaspoon in a sample because, you know, sometimes your nose is not used to a scent. And though you may not like it, on the first time using it, the second or third time, you might might find out that you do like it. And so that's one thing uh, I'll say about that. And it's not really a big deal because it was sent to me free. So I'm not a complainer. I'm not going to complain. Uh, but I will say that when, when I, what I was trying to get to originally was uh, with these soaps, and it just may be my skin type, but it seems like... Um, it has a little bit of stickiness to it, like maybe it's got a little extra food skin that maybe my my skin is not uh, keen to. So I've rambled on enough. I need to wet my face again. I'm going to grab that mister because I'm still not allowed to do much bending. Uh, and I'm going to apply some Tube 2.0 as a pre-shave to help kind of combat the stickiness. And <clears throat> I don't know... Uh, I know Monica had said she had never heard anybody uh, say that before, but I'm just giving an honest opinion here. And that's just, you know, my experience. And like I've said a million times before, your experience may be different. So if you've had that, maybe you understand. If you haven't, well, then you won't understand. So it's not a knock. It's just, a, you know, my experience. And like I said, this scent is really nice. Um, I kind of pick up like an oak moss, a sandalwood. There's some other kind of magical woodiness to it, but it's not an overpowering uh, woodiness. And I can't, I don't have anything that I could say I could compare this scent to because it is truly unique, but you know, if I bought a tub of this, I would be happy with the scent. I can say that. And look at that. Just do a little demonstration of the lather here. And it, it does lather very well. All right, so let's warm up the razor and get the Zen guard, I mean, the Zen shave going. Did you notice I got a fresh haircut? Wow, that barber went a little. We're all close. <laughs> oh yeah. And this will probably be a quick shave. And I feel like the pre-shave did help out because uh, 
before, you know, my finger would kind of, kind of, you know, do that. You like those sound effects? And I, I had noticed that really, um, I can't remember what razor I was using. It was one that had the extra angle, I can't even think. But it, it didn't have the rounded top cap. So you use the angle on the top cap to help find the perfect angle with the razor. And I noticed it was doing that. And I know you guys know that with this particular razor, the shave goes very fast. The time on my camera shows seven minutes, but I know that's not accurate because I had a couple bloopers and I was laughing very hard <laughs> because I have my pronunciation the name of the soap was just killing me for some reason and I thought it was funny and I couldn't continue on <laughs> I'm noticing in the background I picked up my black Lancaster black sheep towel and that does not go with the green theme so I'm going to have to Switch that out here in a little bit. Hmm. You know, and I I think an aftershave or a splash in that scent would go really well. It may actually be a little nicer. It's Sunday. Did you guys do anything exciting this weekend? Tomorrow, your work week will begin. Not to, I don't have any stories to tell you today. A lot of my videos, I just kind of wing it and whatever comes to mind when I'm shaving, I talk about it unless I've had something, you know, specific going on. All right, I'm going to get cleaned up with some cold water and I will be right back. Oh, yes. Wow, that's nice. Okay, and since I don't have a matching splash, I'm going to use the Glacial Unscented by Sterling. And, whoo, that baby is getting low. Oh yeah, I love that menthol. <laughs> All right, and to top that off, I'm going to use a little bit of star jelly. Even though this was a excellent shave, I'm a little sad to say that the shave is coming to another end. There's always tomorrow. All right, I will post a picture right here of everything that I used, and I would like to say thank you if you have stuck with me this long watching the video, and I will see you on the next shave.